common question that a rental property owner might ask is, hey, does your property management company handle maintenance and repairs? Great question. So the short answer is most property management companies do handle maintenance and repairs as part of their standard property management package. So unless you're working with sort of an a la carte type arrangement where maybe the management company is only doing the leasing, um, most, I would say the vast majority of management companies are going to take on repairs and maintenance as part of the work that they do. And I want to share a few words about what that's what it's like to work with in practice uh, as a property owner, what it's like to work with a management company that's that's taking care of these items for you. So the first thing you need to understand is that just by the nature of this relationship, you're giving up some control by hiring a property management company. And this is, quite frankly, not for everyone. If you're the type of person who really wants to have their finger on the pulse of every dollar that's being spent at your rental property, you're probably not going to enjoy hiring a management company that's taking care of repairs and maintenance because, of course, they're not going to do everything exactly the same way that you would have done it. And that can be a source of frustration. So just be aware of that as you get ready to, to research and hire a potential property management company. The other thing to be aware of here is how does the management company handle repairs and maintenance? Because there's a lot of different ways this can be done. Um, first thing to think about is, do they have an in-house maintenance team? So a lot of bigger property management companies are going to have an in-house property management maintenance team. That's going to be uh, employees who are like handyman type guys that are direct employees of the company that are able to go out to the properties and deal with maintenance requests. And the advantage here is you're usually going to get more efficiency and typically better value from on-staff W-2 employees who are familiar with the property over time and are able to, to sort of batch, uh, batch tasks at nearby properties to, to just be more efficient. Um, and a lot of these arrangements are beneficial because a handyman type person can take care of a lot of even like small electrical and basic plumbing items rather than paying, you know, full freight retail for a plumber to go out to the property just to fix a toilet. So that can be an advantage. Um, for third party vendors and every management company is going to work with a number of different third party vendors and contractors. You should have a good understanding of how that process is handled. You know, what is the management company working with folks that are licensed, bonded and insured in case there's a problem? Um, is there a markup on the third party work that they handle? That's pretty typical. Um, and how does the management company decide what work is going to go to their internal maintenance team and what work is going to be outsourced to the third party contractors and vendors? So there's a lot to think about with maintenance. It's, it's by far the largest expense uh, category that you're going to see uh, for your uh, rental properties. And so take your time and get comfortable with the arrangement at the property management company you're interested in working with.